What's up YouTube? Capital G here. Got an anime S duel for you guys to check out. In fact, we got two anime archetypes. We got Attic Nister, played by I from Yu-Gi-Oh! Reigns, and then we have the Odd Eyes at the top. Those are Yuya's from uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Art V. I would say, as, as crazy as it seems, I actually think there's a way that Odd Eyes can blow out Attic Nister. I think what you gotta do is you have to shut down the Dark Templar. If Attic Nister can get Vortex Dragon on field turn one, or if you can get the Odd Eyes Persona Dragon, you definitely have some ways of shutting down Dark Templar. Dark Templar is, of course, the uh, Infernity Launcher built into a Link Monster for the Attic Nister Archetype. If you can shut that card down, their turn one is so mediocre. That's pretty much like the lifeblood, and it's the card that they always want to go into. So shut that card down, probably can win the duel. I think that Odd Eyes are up first, and I mean, not gonna lie, it's not a bad opening, even though he doesn't have like great, it's not a fantastic opening, but but you have access to Sky Iris. You have Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon, and you also have Art Dragon. You can just trigger your Sky Iris using any of these scales, and then if you blow up a scale, your Art Dragon will trigger as well. It'll float for a monster just, you know, for free. So I thought that he'd be able to do some stuff here, but uh, we'll see where it goes. He's, oddly enough, not going to use Sky Iris, and um, the original Pendulum Dragon is going to trigger the Art Dragon. I thought it was so bizarre that he did not go for Persona Dragon. I thought maybe that he went for... I was like maybe he searched his only copy or something but no he plays another copy if you guys don't know this guy can uh negate any monster that was special summoned from the extra deck so this is kind of how you would stop something like dark templar or stop like a sky striker kagari i mean it's just a good card in general plus it has 2400 defense but he didn't go for that play i was i don't know i thought it was a little weird anyways um Ignister Island is played, which is pretty much like the key card for Ignisters when it comes to the spells and traps. Obviously, they need to go for Dark Templar. There it is. And just think about this. If Dark Templar got interrupted right here, I feel like he'd be in such good position, but he didn't go for that negation. I don't know why he didn't go for that. Anyways, he is going to get a bunch of monsters on board. And uh, yeah, we might be looking at the <laughs> we might be looking at the cybers or the uh the uh, the arrival cybers at Ignister because he definitely has a lot lot of cards just that easy guys we got six materials on board he's gonna throw them all to the graveyard and he's gonna summon the uh arrival now he is actually going to protect his monster but of course he still takes the damage he's gonna take a bunch of damage because it is a 6,000 attack monster now his opponent still has a lot of monsters this time he finally is going to use sky iris he should have did this in his first turn i don't know what he was doing but him using sky iris is going to trigger his art dragon or at least it should trigger there it is he's gonna summon an odd eyes pendulum dragon from his deck and now he's gonna go for some pretty solid plays he's like yo cap this ain't the only guy who can bust out big monsters now keep in mind just because this guy is unaffected by card effects doesn't mean you still can't use it against your opponent you can use things like boral sword dragon that gain attack equivalent to one of your opponent's monsters and it doesn't matter if that monster is unaffected there's this card called starving venom fusion dragon we all play it with super poly it has pretty much the same effect it doesn't affect this guy it just affects itself based on one of your opponent's cards so it's going to go to almost 9,000 attack, and he doesn't do quite enough damage to win 100 life points. You guys know what time it is. <laughs> now, the thing is, I wasn't quite sure if he could pull this back with just pretty much a sign at mining. Obviously, whatever he top decks, he can just use as discard fodder. I would say that he would be looking to draw a monster, but I guess sign at mining can get him a monster, so I guess it's a little inconsequential what he gets. But uh, yeah, this deck can definitely do it, especially considering that you don't really use your normal summon all that much he is just going to special summon the dark one can add a monster from the graveyard the red one or the fire one is a rota for the archetype which gets you to whatever card that you're missing he is just going to go ahead and uh, summon the water one and he's going to make a comeback with not only the ritual but he's going for the fusion summon as well this is actually kind of crazy because what he's going to do is he's going to use the fusion or the uh, ritual to make his opponent's monster zero attack and then this guy the golem can actually double its attack when it's battling a monster from the uh from the extra deck so that's actually kind of troll that's like a yeah that's a, that's like a way of doing kind of like double damage you know what i mean make your opponent's monster zero and then double your attack and it's basically like you're attacking them directly and uh he ends up pulling a nice little comeback out of nowhere his opponent probably i know he's kicking himself because anytime you leave your opponent with 100 life points you think oh man if i just would have adjusted it slightly i could have somehow won this 
but it wasn't in the cards. Anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed that short duel. If you did, give the video a thumbs up. Thank you guys for watching. As always, subscribe if you have not already, and turn on, the turn on that notification bell for daily videos.